Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is measures of center. So from some data points right here. So there's our common core strand for our, our teachers. And then our question here is uh, how can we use measures of center to describe the data? Okay, so finding the mean. A measure of center is a single number used to describe the set of some uh, numbers in data. Uh, so a measure of center describes a typical value from the data set. Okay, so there's a couple of there's actually more than a couple. There's three or four. There's four or five, actually, but we're going to discuss two of them in this lesson. Uh, one measure of center is the mean. So the mean, or the average, of data sets is the sum of the data. Sum means add them up. Sum of the data values divided by how many numbers are in the data values, okay? Divided by the number of data values in the set, okay? So here we go. Let's do a quick, easy one. Tammy uh, surveyed five of her friends to find out how many brothers and sisters they have. Okay, her results are shown in the table to the right. So let's go ahead and find the mean a number of siblings. Okay, so we're gonna what we're gonna do is uh, add up all those numbers. So we're gonna add up um, uh, these numbers: two plus three plus one plus one plus three, and then divide it by. There's five numbers right there. So we're gonna do that divided by five. We get two. So the mean number of siblings that she had with her friends is two siblings right there. Okay. And they're all close to two. Can you see they're all close to two? So it's the measure of the center of the spread of these numbers right here. So two is, is a good measurement for the for the center of these numbers right here, which is the average or the mean, okay? All right, so the median, you guys, is um, it represents the middle value after you rearrange them from smallest to biggest. So if they're not rearranged, you always have to do that first. And sometimes there's two numbers in the middle, and if there's two numbers in the sorry in the middle, then the median is the average of those two numbers. Okay, so here we go. Courts record records uh, the distances that some cross country team members ran last week. Find the median. Okay, so first thing we've got to do is rearrange them from smallest to biggest. Okay, so I'm going to rearrange them from. Let's see. Looks like three is the smallest, and then four is the next one right here. And then I got two five, so I got a list two five, so five and five. And then I have a six down here. And then I see a couple of sevens. Okay, so I did all that right here. So we do that. Okay, and then we start finding the median. Let me just slide that up right there. So now find the median number by just taking off the bookends, you guys. So I'm just going to kind of scratch off the bookends. What I'm going to do is just uh, list them in purple, okay, till there's no uh, bookends to take off anymore. So we'll take off the 3 and the 10, the 4 and the other 10, the 5 and the third 10, 5 and 8, 6 and 7. Now there's one number in the middle. That's the median, okay? So the median is 7 miles. Okay, so it's the middle number after you rearrange them. Okay, so find the median number of these test scores. So what we got to first do is rearrange them from smallest to biggest. Okay, so these are pretty good looking test scores right here. So I'm seeing 83 is one. Here's another 83 over here. Uh, what else do we see? I see an 85. I see, uh, oops, 77. We skipped 77. Okay, so I have them in order right here. Okay. So there they are in order, and then I just take off the bookends. Now watch, when I take them off, you guys, um, uh, there's four numbers on the left, four numbers on the right, and there's two numbers in the middle. So if there's two numbers in the middle, then we average those. So we're going to average 87 and 90. So average just means add them up, and since there's two numbers, we divide it by two. And so we get 88.5. So the mean test score is 88.5. Even though it's not in there, that's a good central number. Center, it's a measure of the center right there. So what's the mean? I don't know. It's just add them up and divide by how many test scores there are. Sometimes the mean is closer to the center. Sometimes the median is closer to the center. Okay. So the mean and median of data values can be equal to each other, very close to being equal, or they can be very different from each other. Okay. So salaries and house prices prices show the mean and median to be very different, okay? Um, uh, things that happen in nature, like say uh, we wanted to uh, find the length of uh, a bark beetle um, and we collected, you know, a hundred of them. Well, if it's in nature, then they're pretty close to each other. The mean and the median would be very close to each other, uh, things that happen in nature. Or, or if I just said um, uh, uh, we calculated the height of all 12-year-old uh, boys in, in your class. Um, the mean and median, I'm guessing, would be pretty close because those are things that happen in nature. 
Okay, so here we go. The monthly earnings of several teenagers are $200, $320, $275, $250, $750, $350, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $